Uh, this morning's Mass will be offered for Pat Molesky. And uh, the first reading for today is very, very long, but they give us an option to use another one. So today we'll be reading the optional reading, the first reading and the responsorial song. So let us begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace and peace of God our Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. And with your spirit. spirit. Coming together as God's family, with confidence. Let us ask the Father's forgiveness, for he is full of gentleness and compassion. Lord Jesus, you bring us hope for better days to come. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You give us strength that will carry us through our, to bear our crosses and our trials. Christ have mercy. Christ, Christ have mercy. You bring pardon and peace to the sinner. Lord have mercy. Lord, Lord have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. <coughs> oh God, who by by whose wondrous grace we are enriched with every blessing. Grant us so to pass from former ways to newness of life, that we may be ready for the glory of the heavenly kingdom. For our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the second book of Kings. The day came when the child of the Shumanite woman was old enough to go out to his father among the reapers. I had hurts, he complained to his father. Carry him to his mother, the father said, to the servant. The servant picked him up and carried him to his mother. <coughs> he stayed with her until noon, where when he died in her lap. The mother took him upstairs and laid him on the bed of the man of God. Closing the door on him, she went out. When Elisha reached the house, he found the boy lying dead. He went in, closed the door on them both, and prayed to the Lord. Then he lay upon the child on the bed. Placing his mouth upon the child's mouth, his eyes upon the eyes, and his hands upon the hands. As Elisha stretched himself over the child, the body became warm. He arose, paced up and, let, and down the room, and then once more laid down upon the boy, who now sneezed seven times and opened his eyes. Elisha summoned Gis Gehazi and said, Call the Shemanah. She came at his call, and Elisha said to her, Take your son. She came in and fell at the feet in gratitude. He, then she took her son and left the room. The word of the Lord. Lord, when your glory appears, my joy will be full. Lord, when your glory appears, my joy will be full. Hear, O Lord, and just suit. Attend to my outcry, hearken to my prayer from the lips without deceit. Lord, when your glory appears, my joy will be full. I call upon you, for you will answer me, O God. Incline your ear to me, hear my word. Show your wondrous mercies. O Savior of those who flee from those foes to, re to refuge at your right hand. Lord, Lord when your glory appears, my, my joy will, will be full. full. Hide me in the shadow of your wings, but I in justice shall behold your face on waking. I shall be content in your presence. Lord, Lord when, when your, your glory appears, my joy, joy will be full. <laughs> Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. 
I take no pleasure in the death of the wicked man, says the Lord, but rather in his conversion that he may live. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus went to the Mount of Olives. But early in the morning he arrived again in the temple area, and all the people started coming to him, and he sat down and taught them. Then the scribes and the Pharisees brought a woman who had been caught in adultery, and made her stand in the middle. They said to him, Teacher, this woman was caught in the very act of committing adultery. Now in the law, Moses commanded us to stone such women to death. So what do you say? They said this to test him, so that they could have some charge to bring against him. Jesus bent down and began to write on the ground with his finger. But when they continued asking him, he straightened up and he said to them, Let the one among you who is without its sin be the first to throw a stone at her. Again he bent down and wrote on the ground. And in response, they went away, one by one, beginning with the elders. So he was left alone with the woman before him. Then Jesus straightened up and said to her, Woman, where are they? Has no one condemned you? She replied, No one, sir. Then Jesus said, Neither do I condemn you. Go, and from now on, do not sin any more. The Gospel of the Lord. During our lifetime, we've heard many religious people, whether they be priests or otherwise, giving a sound advice on how to live a Christian life. One of the things I remember is that someone said, many times we don't like someone else because they have the same fault that we have and without our realizing it. For example, if a person is greedy, we ourselves or someone else may be greedy as well and think unkindly of that person. If that person has a bad mouth, if that person has cheated, if that person has committed adultery, whatever the case may be, if the, if the accuser may very well be guilty of the same fault. And so when they spread the gossip, she's a bad woman, He's a bad man. Many times they're just trying to transfer or distract the person from looking at them and realizing that the accuser is many times as bad, if not worse, than the person accused. And so we have to guard our tongues and speak kindly of others or say nothing at all. Many times rumors are false. Many times people think wrongly for the wrong reason. And so we pray for everybody and wish them well. Now if you stand please, we have our general session. With earnest hope, we bring to God our prayers and petitions, entrusting them to His holy will. For all who serve the church, may God infuse them with joy and wisdom as they preach the word of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For policy makers, may God's guidance inspire in them a renewed commitment to the value of all human life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For all who live alone or experience loneliness or separation from loved ones, 
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For our own community gathered here, may we be nourished by the Holy Eucharist and be strengthened in our efforts to lead others closer to Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For all who have died, especially <coughs> Pat Molesky, for whom this Mass is offered, and our own deceased loved ones and parishioners, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For the sick, that the Lord may touch them and heal them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For our own personal intentions, which do we now mention in the silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Good and gracious God, we lift our prayers and ask you to look favorably upon them through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, that through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, a work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Let's see God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, <coughs> fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. <clears throat> Wash me, Lord, from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May, may the Lord accept the sacrifice in your hands, and for the grace of glory in his name, for our good and the good of the Holy Church. Lord, we pray, O Lord, that preparing to celebrate the holy mysteries, we may bring before you, as the fruit of bodily penance, a joyful purity of heart, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you will that our self-denial should give you thanks, humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels, as with one voice of praise we claim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. May Holy therefore be just we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the, f the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, and Alfred our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember Pat Molesky, for whom this Mass is offered. Remember all of our own deceased loved ones and parishioners, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Cyril of Alexandria, St. Elizabeth of Hungary, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory of yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. May this mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us who receive it. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away the sins of the world, and have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, and have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but I will say the word, and my soul shall be you.
Let us pray. Strengthened by the blessing of your sacraments, we pray, O Lord, that through them we may constantly be cleansed of our faults, and by following Christ, hasten our steps upward toward you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Set free from their sins, O Lord, we pray, the people you call upon you, that living a holy way of life, they may be kept safe from every trial, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. 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 May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke you and humbly pray. And to thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Have a good day. Thank you.